the dentist told me I might need to have surgery to like remove my tongue and then I better see a doctor right away and his face was very grave and he scared me but the thing is when I went to the first specialist I also went to a second specialist they both laughed they said there is nothing wrong it's just a certain condition that some people have and I think that first one felt so bad for how scared I had become. Can you even charge me? This was a really expensive person to get in to see. I got in to see him right away. Didn't even charge me. Second one said the same thing, except he added, it's an autoimmune thing. Well, maybe it is and maybe it isn't. You see, sometimes doctors and other people jump to conclusions because they don't know something. Now I had that happen another time with a cardiologist. He really scared me. I had something that happened as a result of the brain surgery that I had and it's called atrial fibrillation. And the first cardiologist I saw, I'd never seen one in my life was all serious and heavy duty and telling me I have to take aspirins every day for the rest of my life and put me on this medicine. And boy, when I went and looked up what that medicine's for, there was no way I was going to take it. So fortunately, I found another cardiologist and got that whole thing straightened out. I don't take any medicines. There is no medicine for a fib. There's only medicine that slows your heart, which means it slows your brain, which means it slows your digestion. The fact is, you are responsible for your health and you need to take care of yourself. Now, for many, many years, in fact, right up until today, I was thinking maybe it is an autoimmune thing, except as I said earlier, you can't just listen to doctors say that you're responsible for your health. I'm responsible for my health. And when I did the research, well, you know what? I know what causes it. And the doctor told me they don't know what causes it. I know exactly which foods I eat that cause an immediate reaction. It's a food allergy. Now, I can take care of that. So, oh, you hear that? I live near the very famous Rhinebeck Aerodrome and that is the sound of a biplane flying over the house. Oh, last week it was my yard was full of animals and today it's a biplane. So you wouldn't have seen today. Anyway, I love living where I live. So getting back to where I was, maybe it's an autoimmune thing but I'm pretty darn sure it's just a food allergy. However, because I thought for all these years that it wasn't an autoimmune thing, I tuned in to the summit that, follow the link below, because there's a summit on autoimmune conditions, and there's also a list of many of the common ones that people actually heard of that you might be suffering with physically, emotionally. And there are ways to help you both to discover whether or not you have indeed such a condition and the fallacy that a pill is going to help it in any way, shape, or form. So follow the link below because it starts on Monday, November 5th. Remember, it's up to you. Don't give your care over to somebody else. And prevention is everything. Do you know it costs 10 times more to try and get well from something than it does to prevent it in the first place? And that's only if there is something to get you well. I'm Ali Beerman. You can find me at yourrelationshipintelligence.com because what makes you vulnerable to different conditions? It all has to do with the history of relationships in your life.